Hello and welcome back. Right. We need to get the weeder. We need to plant. Oh, I'm gonna. It's July. What am I talking about? I'm talking nonsense. Right. So. I do believe there's absolutely nothing we can do. Of course, in the morning. I will look and. We have 16,600 to our name. <laughs> it will be Murphy's look that we get a fantastic tractor in the morning. Because, of course, I cannot buy one now. Right, so... Oh, I know, yeah, actually, I'm being silly. I can do things. We have got to do the one most important job of all, which is to run our canola to our oil factory. I was forgetting. We certainly have used today to its optimum. 7.39 at night so let's get this last job of the day done before we retire before we go deep into the night it's a good job it's summer right let's get this job done wow hard economy is certainly a challenge when you look at the the net amounts that you make it's I mean, I know it's not the first time I've played on Hard Economy. It is the first time I've played on FS22. It is a challenge. It was on FS19, but this is a challenge. Definitely. Right, let's get this in. Now that one needs... So yeah, I think I'm on side, right hand side tip, I think I was on. Right, I do like the fact this is all on one side, like the sugar factories awkward because they're on opposing sides both the dump in and the load are on the what same side which is uh, in my opinion quite an advantage right let's see Just a bit tight to the building And we definitely want some storing to begin with. is fading definitely. I won't do anything else though. I don't like dragging visitors through the night even though unfortunately it does happen a little bit too in too frequently. On my low note I had to do it a couple of times where you've just had no other choice. Wow I love the, the animations are oh, absolutely something else. is struggling with this now. Since I've got weight limits on. Which I do like. It's another level of realism. Let's get that a bit tighter. Yes, so this will be the first time I've done oil. I'm quite glad to say I've done sugar twice now. It's, it, of course, all the productions are similar, but the rate at which, I mean, the, the furniture that we did briefly have had a very, very slow um, production rate, almost 
completely different from um, the sugar factory which had quite a good production rate not as good as the lime factory that's got a stupendous rate right should be the last load and then we shall retire for the night and in the morning we shall get busy Love the dust rising mark, that's amazing. Real attention to detail. Same as the sounds. The clanking of the um the doors and that on the trailers is where am I going? <laughs> it's quite phenomenal. Adds another layer of immersion, definitely. And realism. I also like the fact if you switch your engine off it stops loading. It realistic, FS19, I, I don't know if I'm just speaking for myself, but I frequently switched the engine off and carried on unloading and it allowed me, which, yeah, technically thinking about it, the electric to the thing would have been cut and therefore it would have stopped unloading. So, yeah, I like it, attention to detail. Got to relearn things. Right, lights off. Right, so then, let's sleep through. Eight o'clock. You should be, I don't know, getting to the. Should still be light at that time for another couple of months. September, we should be able to. Let's have a look. What does one night get you in productions? Oh, I do wish I'd get this right. It does storing... Oh, so one e... I know it wasn't long, but... 457 litres. 4,800 cycles per month. Does that mean 4,800? That is quite slow. Wow. Definitely a slow burn, then. Let's have a look at my favourite time of the day. Oh, I think these were all on yesterday as well. Yeah, absolutely nothing whatsoever. That's a bit of a... Say, we certainly do seem to have some real bum rolls on this. See, the passive income is still isn't working on the lime factory. The only reason we bought it in the first place, even though it... It is now at least working when we have stones, that is, yes, it did come into its own, it was very useful. Right, now we are down to the wire, we need to lease, lease the uh, weeder. We're chipping away into our money now, what's left, we've got to hope that, um, the factory is we are putting quite a lot of uh, hope and store on the oil factory now right let's get this stored Gordon Bennett Let's put this up to 100%. Right, that's higher. Weeder. Right, let's get this done. Ooh. 
we need to fertilize before we put this down. I'm trying to think, we don't need to do anything else. We've done everything, all except for the. Let's do one fertilized spread before we put this down, then we'll put this down. And I need to test that theory. I used to know all the nuances. Now then, let's get this. I don't think there's much in this, if I remember rightly. No, I didn't think there was. Now then, we want to change that to canola. Yes, I used to know all of the nuances of what you could do it and when, and now, obviously, under FS22, that's completely different. Right, let's get... time I filled it like that and it's actually grabbed the lime. And let's try and get this right. No, way over. do that. Start off okay at the edge and then taper out. Right. I'm chuffed that this day has come. I will uh, yeah, I am going to go into time-lapse mode, not because this takes a long time, but because obviously we're going to go straight into the weeder. God, it, I have never done so many time-lapses, it's just, as I think I said originally, I'm not expecting a grand amount of... This is, for me really, as a record of how well our farm does. If it's... I mean, I'm trying to make it semi-interesting by... These are massive. This is a massive field. It truly is, and I think it's probably the only saving grace that will make the difference between us making profit and not. Because the field is so massive, and we are this. This is my first go at hard economy. I mean, I know it's I knew it was going to be tough with all of the repair costs and and that. Uh, I've done all my other start from scratches so far on normal economy which, you know, in FS19 I had long past gone past the challenge of that a hard economy is an absolute um, yeah, it, it's an absolute challenge and hard economy on FS22 is like FS19 on steroids so, yeah um, uh, this is going to be a tough one And big fields. This, this field is um, equivalent to the. I think it's field 68 on Elm Creek. I think I had a very similar oat harvest on that than I than I have had on this. So when I think of the size of the Elm Creek and what we've done on this, that really does seriously make me feel that this is a mammoth task. Of course, I, do, I don't really need to be told, but it is, obviously. Let's try and get this right. It does make me feel better when I can see the size of this and realise it's the same as that massive field on Elm Creek. Although, I suppose, it may be that my yield was, but perhaps, because I don't feel this is as big as that, if I'm honest, I think this is slightly smaller. I think that they hadn't fertilised it completely well, the AI, 
on the contract so it's possible that uh, I think I'd have to test it without any kind of fertilization and it but then again I'm guessing you don't know that the AI didn't fertilize so yeah there's still going to be a little bit of touching up after this tendency to well I think trying to get your spread I mean I've got a slight amount of overlap on that which is not bad as well let's grab that before we go too far so I was up this end I seem to recall Make a tiny splash there marks on the field. Let's have a go see can we do this one. It's quite amazing how wasteful this is when you have to do a little bit of a splash like this all over the or oh, even more so when someone nutter gets out of the tractor. Do you know how many times I do that? Right, it's not far off I don't think. Unless we've got any missing edge bits. I didn't do this side very bad. Ah, there was a little bit there. Let's get this right. We don't want any missing patches. time I'm getting a little bit worried I knew we were getting very close to the bone I did say that we've got to save our productions whatever that produces until November it's the height of the selling season for oil we need to rely on that we need every last little trick played being as we are on hard economy Let's just top this up, ready for the second application. Actually thinking about this, I am being not so clever. Sleep through the night, I'll tell you what I, why I'm doing that. Let me just check one last... to make sure I am right it's both months isn't it yeah I can plant next month Okay, well, that didn't work. I was hoping the weeds would grow. I think two months is definitely enough for any weeds to grow, but obviously that didn't work. Okay, that 
can zoom in now, I don't need to be out there that much. I was hoping, being as we had got the uh, weeder and seeder, that we could actually weed today at the same time as seeding, but we seem to have a conspiracy against us. Two months is not enough for... Right, let's loosen this and... Right, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and girls on the other side.
job is a good one. We are definitely getting down to the very tough end of the stick, aren't we really? This is definitely... Ooh, could have done without that. Right, okay then. Now, we've done all that we can, apart from preemptively spraying, and I'm not preemptively spraying in the rain. I draw the line at that. So, let us, we've done our sowing, we've done one fertiliser state, we have narrows this year, which is one saving grace, so, let's sit back and let's also have a look, let's get to November and see what product we can produce in our factory and keep an eye on the price, let's have a bit of fun. Oh, indicator. There we go. Right, let's do all that we can, which is sleep until November. And we shall have a look in the, in fact, yeah, let's have a quick look to see what we produced overnight. 3,420. Really? Is that all? Whew, okay. Wow. Well. Werewolves are about on the moors. <laughs> do love alien gym sense of humour. <laughs> truly do. Uh, right, okay. So we now have. Uh, so because I. It allowed me to preemptively use the weeder. Why does it say it needs rolling? Do I have to roll it again? I've already done the rolling. There, uh, that's bizarre. It's gone wrong. I already rolled, and it said I should roll, and I did roll, and now it needs rolling again. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, right. Now there's one last thing I wish to do. I think if anything proves correct, oh it's going to rain again later, so I couldn't actually herbicide it, is the fact that you do need some passive income, even more so in hard mode. So, with that in mind, there's one thing I did mean to do a while back, but hey ho, uh, production, generators, just afford it, yeah. Oh it's very small. Oh, I like that. Small wind energy converter. Let's see if we can put this on the top end. Out the way. Excellent. Now we are. You don't get much closer to the edge than that. Right, so one month of... Oh, let's have a look at my favourite time. I have no doubt there's going to be wonderful things there when you can't afford it. Oh my life. Eighteen thousand for one of my absolute all time favourites. But as I have said so many times before <laughs> this is just typical. Uh it is in exactly the same range as our own very trusty tractor. That is actually would have been one of my uh, start tractors of choice. I used to Often start with the Deutz, um <laughs> the Agristar. Right, anyway, it's blast from the past. Right, let's get sleep through till <laughs> November, and then we need to be looking at selling our products, getting the best price, and selling. We'll, of course, have a look at the uh, what's on offer this month as well. Now we're torturing ourselves because we can't afford things. That's a slightly higher range, but... Grass rollers. Of your grass fields. We haven't got a grass field, so we will pass. Now then, the month is at hand. 2,435. Well, well, at least it's going in the right direction. Right, let's have a look. We need to be looking at... Canola oil. One eight 
take three. Now then, what do you go up to? That's the interesting thing. So we're going to have to do what we did um, a couple of years ago. And we should stick time up to something like 240. And we're going to have to keep flicking into that page to see when it's going up. We'll do it every half an hour. Oh, 1887. One eight nine one. Nine five. Still going up nicely. Nine nine. We've got all day, all month, in fact. <laughs> Six nine ten, still going up nicely. Fourteen, still going up the same amount every half an hour. Four, yeah, still four. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. Twenty nine. Thirty two. Ah, no, that slowed down. That's three. Still going up three though instead of two. And we're still going up. Yeah. Seven. Right. Let's slow down. It's good. We could continue on like this for. Let's do. And let's also put my money where my mouth is. I always say that this works. So let's just see if it does. How much have we got in production? Storing. Oh, it only stores 10,000. Right, we're going to sleep now. And put that on selling though, otherwise that's not going to achieve anything. Selling. And let's go to sleep. Go nine. It's in winter now. Let's see. Yes, that worked nicely. Excellent. Right. What is the price this morning? I would imagine let's change that now to storing again. Which have we got in? 26,000. Okay, that's 13,000 total. Yeah, typical. More, not very good. Right, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, we can. We could sp Oh, no, we can't. It doesn't need. We've missed rolling somehow, even though we rolled, and it said we needed to roll, and we did roll, so it looks to me like you have to roll when you've actually planted. So one thing we could do, though, is just put our narrows on and get the second fertiliser state done. That would be useful. Then we are completely done, and we can just watch the year roll by till July, which I like the sound of that. Do you know, I think, though, yeah, we're going to call that... For the end of the session now that's for next session we've uh, had some fun we've looked back up to 26,000 that does make me feel happy we've got that um, yeah, so we know we can almost earn 2,000 from we've got another we'll be able to store 10,000 of that till next November if we get any highs of price we'll keep we know what the high is now if we look at what it is today we can see how much more yeah 
it's still not terrible, is it? It's almost what it was yesterday, so... In fact, yeah, let's do that. That's the one thing, because it, it, we've got till July to even get the fertilising state. That's a bit of fun. Let's see what the price is going to be tomorrow night, when we've got a few thousand in store. We've got a big canny with this. One thousand one hundred and seventy three property income. I do like the look of that. That is definitely good. And <laughs> the chances of that. Oh, that is quite apt. It is um it is a mod and not an official mod for mod mod. I was very um I wasn't going to introduce it into the game, but now it's on special offer, 10 metres, I don't know, I'm not sure. Oh wow, now that tractor, that's typical, I knew this would happen. That's a cracking tractor, the 700, oh, and up to 246 horsepower, but yeah. We aren't in a position to do that. That's. I'm tempted. That will set us up. I'm going to do it. I am going to keep it as close to the standard as possible. It's just got a much bigger spread than the uh, original one. Let's, I would like to change the colour though, even if it does. Yeah. Rim colour. Oh wow, 800. Goes out with purple. Ooh, now I quite like that. I do. 22891. Go on then, let's do it. Yes, we need it. It's not something we're wasting our money on. We can't afford a tractor, and that will set us up um, after each harvest now. And do oh, I never did check. What was the? Uh, do you know? I think I'd check that first. That where? Where's that gone now? Horsepower requirements 120. Ah, oh, that's okay then. Brilliant. Smashing. Oh, that makes me feel better. At least we will get the field done in half the time. It's a, a bit a bit naughty, but yeah, it's if it hadn't come on offer, I would have left it alone. But sometimes what will be will be. Right, let's have a look at prices of our canola. One six seven eight and rising. Interesting. How much have we got in our production? We're storing 4,812. Okay, let's do that. Let's keep an eye on the uh, on the price this month and see what we go to. We'll do 240 again, and we'll keep having a look every every hour. Imagine hmm, that can be a bit. You can miss the turnaround and then lose money. So. Let's have a look. Six seven two. It seems to be quite slow. Six. Hmm. That's going down. Why does it say it's going up when it's not? Still good enough. Still a decent profit. So let's sleep. Oh, let's swap it over though first to selling. Oh, let's go to sleep. I'm happy with that. It's reasonable. It's not as good as the high, but you can't you can't do, run your business model on one month, can you? In 
a perfect world, perhaps. Smashing. Let's change that to storing again. Excellent. How much have we got left? 7,000, so that's only 3,500 left to actually do now. We've done well, though. We, that, that was 40,000 profit from the two months, and we sold one month at not the perfect. We've got 3,000 more, which is, yeah, almost 6,000. 46,000. If we'd have sold it, um, the canola itself, we would have earned 30... 7,000 at the absolute it's not I don't suppose again this is where hard economy comes in it's not um, I mean again you can only store a maximum of 10,000 or 9,999 litres so you've got to sell it in two hits anyway even with doing all of that so right let's take this right up to about May Did I check my favourite time of the day? I didn't, did I? Ooh, quad track. Oh, wow. Oh, now today we've got the proper Scorpion at a much, much worse price. Okay. We shall pass. We already have one. And your enhanced version. Yeah, that's a shame that we haven't got the money for that. It's a cracking tractor. That would serve us all the way through the game as well, with it being that high horsepower. But, yeah, it's too rich for us. Right, let's take this on to May. We'll also keep a look out each month for the price of canola oil. If we get another high, we will sell the remnant I think we've got the, the, the dregs. Right, first things first, let's have a look at... No. That's, that is good. If we were going to ever change to... I'm going to do it. You are not going to be literally stuck on this and that would give us a means to cut grass quite a decent 4.4 meter spread for 8,359 that is definitely good we will do that excellent right seriously now then how much can I hold up we've got 3,609 and oh wow that's higher than we sold it for earlier okay then let's do it Let's sell the last dregs of our business and we should sleep through the night and we do know we need to do the last fertilizer spread but I shall do that next session we're going to leave this at, Mar at March We've just gone through March at uh, May because there's a couple of months to get the last bit done Brilliant. Yeah, that's taken us up to a respectable amount again. Now that's the type of price and the type of range that would do us proud. Typical, we haven't got the money. Yeah, that would tip is right. Yeah, let's just stick to our guns. April last month. We have bought we have seen growth. You can't expect miracles, truly. I think it'll be next um harvest season and selling season where we actually um can afford a tractor. A property income serving is proud. don't need any more of trailers or anything like that at some point I would love to buy something like this oh actually that's a that's not a I was thinking that was a that is literally no 
we'll pass. Right, and that is where we are going to leave it. 19,531, so we're ticking up. It's, uh, we've got to do one more fertilisation on this. So we'll, one thing I'll do now while I remember is I'm going to uh, just change the wheels on my tractor. And we're going to change to narrows. Ah, I must have planted it in Trelleborg. Ah, now was it Continentals? Where I've already bought my narrows? Was it Mitis then? Oh. Then. Yeah, it was, right. Stick my narrows back on. Brilliant. Okay, let's put the... Attach that or I'll forget. And that is where we're going to leave it. So we are ready now to do our fertilising. We're up to 20 odd grand and... Yeah, let's just do that. It is nice, I think, sometimes to show yourself what we've done. We were on less than this before. We've also um, put a means of income, passive income in, which cost us 11,000. So we can't forget that we've spent that money. It's 19,000. We took us right down to the bone, zero. We're back up to 20,000. And not only that, we've sold all of our product produce. We have bet gain from that with these two articles here. We have our own stone picker now and it's not, it is a special stone pick with a 10 meter spread a bit naughty but it was on special and at a cracking price can't believe the month after as well we got the proper Elho the smaller model this has got a 10 meter spread and you can be naughty with capacity but I'm not going to do that I want it to be as close to the real thing as possible the only reason I bought it, I do like the fact you can change the colours though the El Elho Yogia 1000 smashing so and of course we now have a mower we don't need it right this very minute but we're not going to stay in in just doing this forever and this map is perfect for grass so yeah 25 percent so yeah i think personally all things considered we're seeing growth we're getting more equipment that we need the stone picker that will do us proud we've got the horsepower to meet it we know we can plow now yes it's a faff i don't mind doing it for another year if it means us getting our tractor that is definitely the um what we need to do though now is this coming harvest this is going to be harvest obviously for the oil and in november this year we are saving up for a tractor no keep our eyes on the prize that is where we are going this year tractor definitely he says of course if the sales are kind to us that's the one thing i am going to say but yes we do i think i'm really chuffed with where we're going i'm pleased with the passive income we had a bit of a bum roll with the original production the line production because that's supposed to passively give us 1200 a month and it doesn't so yeah if that gets fixed then obviously we will be doing quite well passively income when I say quite well I mean for FS22 I uh, earned I think it was uh, about, uh, at my best not on hard economy I might add on normal economy about a thousand an hour on my passive income I think or was it less than that it was still very good I think over the day if you slept through the day I'd earn thousands um, so yeah but even so it's still good it's i'm quite chuffed that we're on the up it covers up for our production costs and gives us a bit of seed and fertilizer money which is all i ever want my passive income to do really i'm not trying to make our fortune on passive income just to keep keep us in the green all the time anyway without any further ado i'm going to say thank you very much for watching I hope you're going to continue on this journey with us. I'm quite pleased we are heading in the right direction. That's all I'm going to say. We've got a few pieces of equipment more. We're definitely seeing growth. And that's all I ever expect or hope to see on any Let's Play is a bit of growth. 
otherwise uh, and with this being hard economy to see growth as well I find that even more special because hard economy is a very tough place to be especially in FS22 it's a completely different beast to FS19 that I am used to and I can turn a profit to even on hard economy this is tough but we're doing we're heading in the right direction so we've I think we've navigated some tough situations and successfully come out the other side. Of course, there are always new things around the corner. So I'm not going to say that we're not going to get any kerbals because it wouldn't be Farming Simulator if you didn't get kerbals. Anyway, enough waffling from me. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.